All right, Chi Baker here, Street Tactical Integrations, Portland, Oregon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the six count, then we're gonna look at how the six count can be applied empty hand and with a knife. The idea with Kali, as you all know, is that it was created as a bladed art, but it is also created that it can move from blade to stick to empty hand without learning three different systems, All right? So we're gonna demonstrate, demonstrate that today with um, the different techniques that we're gonna work on. So we've got heaven six, right? Then you've got heaven and earth six. Some of you have heard this, some of you haven't. There's purgatory. Have you guys heard purgatory, right? So you have heaven, you have earth, you have something in between purgatory, right? With heaven six, right, you can start to switch up your standard heaven six. Right, or your heaven and earth. So you can do things like a, a thrust, right, a puño and a slash. Thrust, puño, slash. Thrust, puño, slash, right? That is your heaven six, okay? Um, what we're gonna work on with empty hand is, and part of the reason, uh, what I used to teach with empty hand is just hammer fist. And to be honest, this is okay, but I'm never gonna do that in the face of an actual conflict. I'm not gonna be doing this. One, it looks funny, right? It might, like Chris is laughing. It might, la it might the, your, your attacker might be like, oh my God, this is hilarious, and forget to attack you, right? But I don't find it very utilitarian value, right? So what we're gonna work on is a chung choi, a straight punch, a buji to a gua joy, okay? So it's punch, buji, gua joy, Punch, buji, gua joy. Okay, that's our empty hand. So let's have Don over here for a quick second. Mm -hmm. Right, quick, no, we just sit down. Right, so if, say he throws a punch, right? I'm here, here's my, here's my punch, right? He throws that, yep, here's there, and there's my gua joy. Okay, so I've, I've, I've managed this here, I've managed this here, and now I'm getting that strike in. So that's the kind of, there's many utilitarian values of, of this combo, but the idea is that I'm hitting, right? I'm getting a buji. I, I may, he may, we may be here, right? And before he gets to do anything, boom, boom, right? I've just gotten two hits in, and there's my third hit. So I don't have to necessarily wait for Don to throw a punch at me. So if I know he's gonna throw a punch at me, uh, I might just decide to close distance and do whatever, okay? Right, then we're gonna go to knife, okay? If um, if I'm in a military position, it's here, right? My first, there's angle one, right? And then this could be, again, be a Vuji, right? Here's two, and here's three, right? So one, two, three, right? If I'm single, if I've got only one blade, to be honest, I don't typically carry two blades anymore. I used to, kind of feels a little excessive, but sometimes it just feels good to carry two, three, at one training, I had five blades and they kept pulling blades. I was wrestling with somebody, they kept pulling blades off me and they're like, how many does this guy have? And I was like, you didn't get them all! <laughs> right, okay. Then we go to standard position here, right? And here's my one, here's my two, and here's my three. So I've gone here, right? So there's, there's my half of my six count, okay? So we're gonna adapt the six count depending on what we have available to us. Does that make sense? The idea is that you don't have to learn a new mechanical motion. You can stay with the same thing that you've learned, right, and alter it. Make sense? All right, good. Train it and believe it. Protect your community and serve it well.